after many of the rain outs, Lincoln Land would finally be able to take to the field. Today they face John Wood in Game 2 in the first round of the Region 24 tournament. This game was originally supposed to take place on Thursday. We start bottom of the fifth, loggers up. Justin Palmer singles to center field. This would set up the next batter. Neil Aaron singles to left field. That brings in a run right here. Loggers go up four to two. Bottom of the eighth, Nick Longren hops one up to left field. He's gonna get out, but that brings in another run. This game would go to extra innings. Lincoln Land wins on a two run homer, 8-6 the final. Right now the loggers are in second round action of the tournament against Illinois Central. It's currently 1-1 in the top of the fifth. Lion Eye looking to take the series against Nebraska. Top of two, Ryan Roper at the plate. He sends it deep left field. He gets a nice solo home run. Illinois now up 2-0. Bottom of the third, Michael Pritchard at the plate with one on. He gets the nice hit all the way to center field. That would bring in another run. This game went into extra innings. Nebraska wins 7-4. Illinois finishes in third in the Big Ten. The NCAA Regional Golf Tournament finished in Sugar Grove today. The Fighting Illini finished in first place just two strokes ahead of UAB. Today's win gives the Illini their seventh straight trip to the NCAA Championship. That's the fourth longest active streak in college golf. Ever since the announcement of suspending 20-year-old Darius Paul for the 2014-2015 season, many are wondering what will happen to that scholarship. Right now, the Fighting Illini are looking at their needs for the upcoming season. Head coach John Gross spoke Thursday. He says the scholarship will go to a person who is right for the team. We have one open. We're very picky, obviously, about you know adding whatever person that we let on our bus or on our plane. You know, so. You know, we'll t continue to filter it through what we're about. You know, obviously we have some needs we've been working hard to address uh, in 2015 and beyond. And, uh, you know, if there's a right fit, you know, then certainly we would, uh, you know, exercise the right uh, to add a person with this scholarship we have. If, if it's not the right fit, then, you know, we at the same time, I think, feel fairly comfortable uh, w w with what we have. We don't just want to add somebody to add somebody just because we have a spot open. You know, I, I think the fit's the most important thing. To high school sports now, it's been a soggy past few days. Many teams playing makeup games. Riverton meeting Porta AC for a doubleheader. Top of the first, Nate Winda singles to center field. That brings in a nice run right here. Blue Jays lead 2-0. Bottom of the inning, Danny Riscotti hits the line drive to center field. Dan Camp crosses the plate. Riverton wins both games. Game one, 8-4, and game two, 8-3. Washington and SHG to meet on the diamond. Bottom of the sixth, Casey Danley sends it far deep left field. That's a two-run homer. Cyclones still lead three to two. Top of the seven, Mitch Trees singles to center field. That brings in Cole Daly. SHG goes on to win four to two. To girls high school track, whoever takes the top two spots will make it to state. Let's start in the 800. Springfield, Allie Goff crosses the, crosses the line. She clocked in at 218. Then in the 4x200 relay, Springfield High comes in first, anchored by Kiara Weir. Time at 1 minute 44 seconds. Then 400 meter dash, Weir comes in first, along with Alexis Henry in southeast. Uh, the 300 meter hurdles with a time of 46.06 seconds. Amanda Nelson from Rochester would come in first. Springfield and Southeast qualifies to states.